sixth meeting of the Connecticut State Veterinary Board. I'm in order. Good. Okay, are we ready to go? Sure. Yeah. Um, first item on the agenda is approval of the minutes from our January meeting. Um, is there a motion to approve the minutes? I move. So move. Ken here. Is there a second? A second. Oh, there you go. All right. All those in favor of approving the minutes from the January 25th meeting, say aye. 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 Uh, Tim. Unanimous. Uh, Tim, were Everyone. you at the meeting? I was not. Yeah. So you you shouldn't move or or vote. Yeah, you should abstain. Okay, consider me abstained. All right then. Me as well. Um, Dr. C as well. Um, so that means me and Ken are the only ones voting on this. So who who seconded? Tim did, okay. but now uh, yeah, I forgot our we chair there. will. Okay, I second. And. Um, so Ken and I are the only ones voting on the approval, I think, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, what about Theresa? I think she abstained. I, I wasn't I wasn't at the January meeting. You see what happened, so Linda, when you were not around? <laughs> I think I was here, but anyway, I don't remember. Okay. <laughs> So we have two in favor of approval of the minutes and two abstentions. Yes. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Correct. Okay. Um, and that means the minutes are approved, right? Yes. Yes. It was okay, one of so our next... best meetings. What wouldn't you agree, Marianne? <laughs> Absolutely. It was marvelous, Ken. <laughs> All right, the next item on our agenda is open forum, which uh, I think any of the members can bring up subjects that they'd like to discuss. So uh, the floor is open. I, I have my oh, usual oh, inquiries about uh, what's the backlog. How are uh, okay, so you, you're you going to have some, I hope you have, you're going to have someone from DPH to give you an update. Uh, Diane, is anyone from the Department of Public Health to provide updates? Um, no, although I did um, do a review of all the um, veterinary cases that are with the department right now. And okay. that update is really the third item on our agenda for this morning? Correct. So are, are there any other issues for uh, open forum. Oh, Linda, should I bring? Can should I or should I not bring up the subject that I no, emailed you about? No, no, no. Please do okay. not. Okay. Thank My you. lips are Thank sealed. You. Your lips are sealed. Do we have any appellate uh, stuff still going on? Appellate regarding yeah, someone's appeal appeal their decisions. Yes, I believe we do. Which one? Like is Follett, he, is he still, you know, uh, Attorney Follett, is that still going? I, 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 I didn't know. So Marianne, is that going on? I believe it is still going on. Um, I can't believe, but I have forgotten the doctor's name. Is it Dr. Wasfi? Yes. Okay. Okay, so no, there's another one too. Yes, um, and I I'm not remembering his name. Doctor Dr. Rob. Rob, yeah. Oh, yes. Doctor Rob, yes. Yes, that is still, I believe, being appealed. And we still don't have an answer from the Attorney General's office on our question no. of three or four years ago. Correct. I asked Diane to resend it to the Attorney Shapiro. Oh, hold hold on a second. I am uh, Mr. Carriger 
is um, on the line. So I am going to give him uh, the link. Who is that, please? He's uh, the gentleman from licensing. Um, we we have him. Yeah, we, we have him introduce himself. Oh. Uh, okay. Okay, so is he joining us? I am sending him the link now. Okay. Oh yeah, you, you, it's the part right there in the phone. Okay, let's see. Tim, how you been? Doing well, thanks. How about you? Yeah, good. We've missed you. Well, thank you. You you've been busy with your advocate work, no? Yes. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Too, too many cases. Yeah. I, I know. I know. Okay, I sent the link. And are we expecting him to join? Yes. All right, we'll give him a couple of minutes then. Any other open for, forum matters that you would like to discuss while Mr. Carriger joins us? I don't have any, any issues. We're still delighted to have you with us, Olinda. Thank you. It's very nice yeah. to be with you as well. <laughs> Are you in Spain? No, I'm back <laughs> in Connecticut. I've been here for a week now. Oh, OK. Welcome back. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I work there. Uh, uh, I was there February, March, and part of April. Oh, my goodness. Wow. I nice. know. Beautiful weather, sunny every day. Great food. Oh. Yeah. Well, pile, pile it on, Olinda. Keep going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, right. I won't <laughs> complain. I have a very good life here in Connecticut as well. Good I'm you. very fortunate that way. Yes. Were you visiting people you knew or just? Uh... Well, we we have we we have property there. We, we have a, a home and um, yeah, a lot of my family is in Spain, uh, so. I really enjoy going there, seeing family. I grew up with cousins, my uncles and aunts, so it's it's oh, lovely. Oh, wow. Yeah. Visiting, I went to Barcelona to the Sacred Family at that beautiful church by Gaudí. I've been there many times, but I never went inside, and it was amazing. So that we did a lot of sightseeing, went to the mountains, to the sea. So it was nice. It was nice. Good and now you're back here in Connecticut in the summer. I'm, doesn't get any better than that. Doesn't does get any better than that, right? That's why I say uh, my daughter and my grandson are here. And my sibling, one sibling and a couple of nephews. So it's kind of nice. I won't complain, like I said. And I, you know, I still like the pH. Thank God. <laughs> yeah. Still keeping us on the straight and narrow. And, uh, hopefully, yeah. hopefully. So uh, let me, I'm going to send a text to Steve Carragher and see if he's going to join us. He was having difficulty um, signing on through Teams, so I asked him um, if he would prefer to dial in. Or... You know what? I'm gonna, Steve. Let me, let me, let me 
uh, gonna request to join. I think he's in now. Hi, Steve. Hi, Linda, how are you? Welcome. Oh, thank you. Here is Steve. Um, we understand uh, that you have an update for us on uh, cases at the department involving veterinarians. I, I don't have an update. My job here is to manage the department's licensing unit. So I'm the guy who issues and uh, renews licenses. I don't work in the section that does the investigations. Okay. But, but the, so, minute, the the info provided in the on the agenda talks about the number of cases and what their status is. Yep. All right. So, do you have any updates for us? I do not. Okay. Well, thank you for joining us anyway. All right. Um, are you, why are you here? That's what I'm asking. But that they asked me to join. Okay, we just wanted to know, Steve, we just want the board just wanted to know whether you have anything in addition to the updates that are listed in the agenda indicating that the department have um, is currently conducting 42 investigations. Uh, well, there are two 42 cases so we, uh, involving veterinarians, 30 investigations, 10 complaints and two petitions assigned to the legal office. Right, I, I don't have any updates on that information. That's that's what the status is. Do you know who would? Well, well, what type of update are you looking for? What the cases are about, how well they're being managed, how old are they? Um, things like that. That's that's our job. Well, no, that's the department's job, but um, and then any information that we would provide with regard to that could potentially um, corrupt you as a member because you would end up hearing those cases so i don't know how much information that, that the department would provide with regard to that i mean i think the overall information that's being provided is what the case count is and the and um you know where they are in the uh in the process well how about how old they are well I, I, how, you know, how fast are they moving along I'm sorry, I'm, my job here is to run the unit that issues and renews licenses. I'm not on the investigation side. So, I mean, Chris Andresen is my boss. He's the section chief of the practitioner licensing and investigation section. So um, if there's some information that you want regarding those cases, he would be the person to contact. Perhaps, Diane, for the next meeting, you could get the information that Ken is requesting about um, how old the cases are and how quickly they're being processed. I'll reach out to Mr. Andresen. Yeah. Okay. That, thank you. That would be, yep. That would be a question for Chris. I'm sorry. If you had a question on number of applicants, you know, processing time for applications, things like that, that's something that I could help you with. But I'm just, it's just, I hate to sound like a bureaucrat, but it's not my department. All right. Okay. So go ahead. Tell, tell us about what you just related. Oh, How's it going I mean, in licensing? Everything's going great in licensing. Um, I can run a few things here. Hold on. Um, I, I, obviously, I wasn't prepared, so just give me a second to. So we've issued 45 new licenses in this calendar year to date. Um, 
And those are get for the... veterinarians? Yes. Okay. I'm sorry, how many did you say? 435? Yeah, I don't even know why I'm on this meeting right now because I didn't have any business scheduled and um, I'm not prepared. My name is Steve Carragher and I'm the manager of the practitioner licensing unit, meaning my unit issues licenses to healthcare practitioners to include veterinarians and about 65 plus professions. We do about 15,000 new applications per year for all professions to include veterinarians. Veterinarians isn't a, isn't a heavy workload as far as the licensing unit goes, meaning we license a heck of a lot more nurses than we do veterinarians. Um, what we do is we make sure that the um, when the person submits their application and they, we make sure that they went to an accredited program, we make sure that they have the required exam. If they're coming from another state, we make sure that they don't have any disciplinary action in that state. We certainly don't want to issue a license to somebody who has problems in another state. Um, uh, we do in excess of about $36 million in revenue per year. Um, and, that, and again, it includes all licenses, not just veterinarians. So if there's and you specific. Said, I'm sorry, and ahead. you said you've issued 45 for veterinarians year to date. Year to date, 45 licenses issued to vets. Yes. Yes. OK, thank you. Okay, thank you. OK, very thank good. You, OK, thank you. Have a good day. You too. Bye bye. Um, Anything else anybody would like to talk about, or are we ready to adjourn? How did how did he come to be invited, and then not even be prepared to talk about what he's what he does? Unknown. Oh, no. That was my uh, my error. I I was looking at old agendas, and I noticed that um, Mr. Cardis had invited him to speak. Um, on other agendas, and he was talking about licensing, and I thought he was the person who could talk about things that were in the department. Yeah, I, I agree. I wasn't surprised when Diane invited him because in previous meetings, he's always come to the board, to this board, you probably recall, and other boards to speak about number of licenses so anyway uh but we'll get you the right person next time yeah i apologize thank you not to worry okay all right anything else <laughs> all right is there a second second i'll second all right all those in favor of adjourning please say aye aye, aye. oh when, when, i'm sorry when's our next meeting uh olinda so i put make certain i have it in the book uh, I don't have my calendar before me, but I don't know if Diane has. I will get that information in two seconds. August 30th. August. August 30th. Okay, thank you. Yep, good. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice All day. All right, everybody. we are adjourned. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.